guys, Mike Richardson here with me. Dude, it is time to do our top four JBO Booker Tales uh, that we uh, depend on really all season long. Yeah, these are such important baits for what we do. Um, I I've said it before and I will continue to say it that if I could use one bait for musky fishing for the rest of my life, it would be a, a Booker Tail of some sort. Dude, you're absolutely right on that. And they're so versatile. And the fact that we've got four different models here, and each one of them plays like a critical role in our boat all season long. I think it's time we go through each one of these and talk about what we like about them, why they're important to us, and when they're important to us. Guys, when you're fishing during a cold front, I got a stiff east wind blowing here. Downsize in presentation. In the last five years, the 500 series Booger Tail Tinsel, and these are all actually tinsel models, uh, this lure in and of itself has taken more muskies mm -hmm. probably than any other lure that we throw. There's yeah. no doubt about it, right? It's definitely a numbers bait, um, but that's really well, not to like play it down and say that it doesn't catch big, yeah, fish. big fish. Because it catches big on, fish. I mean, it catches big fish. You know, and the thing about that, just like it's, it is a big fish caliber lure. Yeah. So you are correct 100% in saying that this is a numbers bait. This lure is produces muskies for us in probably the most challenging conditions mm -hmm. you can imagine. Mm -hmm. Cold fronts, when I'm guiding and I've got to get folks on fish, it is a rule in my guiding boat. Somebody must be throwing a 500 series. There's no doubt about it because they produce so many muskies. And just to your point real quick, talk about a big fish lure, it's designed big. The tinsel makes it look real big, but this lure is built big. One thing that Mike and I do, by the way, to modify this lure, you can use the hooks right out of the box. They're fantastic. Mike and I like to upgrade these to a 5 aught wide gap, or even because of the tinsel, I've been using a 6 aught. you wouldn't believe it, a 6 aught short shank wide gap hook. You know, if the muskies can't see it, it's all good. The bigger the hook, the better, because when you get this in front of a big fish, I want hooking out. Mm -hmm. Now, Mike, you've been you've been relying on the 500 series for some of your best muskies. Oh my for gosh, this is such a go-to bait. And what's awesome about it is, you know, people think of it as like this is an early season bait. This bait continued to catch nice fish in June and July and August and September, and it's like this is a, and October. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this is like an all season type of bait. You know, it's I, I not think just an early season. As we've come back to this downsizing thing, guys, what Mike's saying is that. We have found that the 500 series Booker Tail, not only is it produced like in classically May, June, and early July, but it's all season long, which is incredible. And I'll even say this, you know, you've seen Joe Booker and I on, on our Canadian trips on Lake of the Woods and Eagle Lake. This 500 series has proven itself time and time again on monsters on Lake of the Woods, which is arguably one of the best musky uh, fisheries in the world. It produces big fish there, and, and you know that's one of my, my one of my things about this lure is, you know, look, it'll produce big fish for us in Wisconsin or fish in general in Wisconsin, but muskies in the Canadian waters are all over this thing. The 500 series is just dominant, man. Yeah, absolutely. I'd say out of you know about a, any one of these four bucktails, the Booker Tail 500 tinsel produces more muskies for us than anything else. Well, it'll catch a 32-incher and it'll catch a 52-incher, and that's, that's the beauty of that's that. That's so true, man. And again, it's built big. This thing can handle a large fish. So again, 500 series, one of the lures you cannot do without in your boat. There's no doubt about it. Now, you were talking real quick, Mike, about speed earlier today. You wanted to say something about the speed at which you can work a 500 series. Yeah. Versus a seven, eight, a ten. Yeah. Right. Well, so the five hundred, it's it's smaller profile. Um, it runs pretty quickly. So you know you can get it in really shallow weeds, and you can work it through the really thick cabbage and things like that. Um, when the now, muskies are holding really tight. To okay, so you can you can work this thing quick. You can obviously work it slowly, but as far as a running gun lure, the five hundred, because of the small blade design, you can really. You know, burn and churn. The booger yeah. burn, as they say, you can really move this lure quickly. Now, another thing you're getting me started on, as a guy, I need to help my customers, especially those who are new into musky fishing or the, the older customers who 
uh, you know, are, don't have the, the, uh, the muscle strength to throw for, you know, eight, ten hours a day, this lure is easy to throw, and you can throw it on conventional tackle. Yes. We'll get into rods in another video, yeah. but you know what we're saying here, guys, is that this lure is small. It's easy to throw all day, mm -hmm. and it catches fish. So it's an awesome, awesome bucktail to have in the water. Well, good for the you know the brand new angler. Good for the experienced angler. Absolutely, man. Okay, so let's move to now. This is a special, uh, a whole special category for both of us. So close. Oh, it doesn't get much better than that, guys. Both of us, the 700 single blade booger tail here we've got the great flame pattern i mean this is produced arguably for the both of us yes. our biggest muskies our biggest walleyes our yeah. biggest pike the 700 is probably the most famous of all mm -hmm. booger tails that, that exist yeah it's kind of like that perfect size for a booger tail um you know the color the the great flame has been really, really oh, hot for us as okay. well but the 700 in general i, I think I have like several personal bests on this uh, very lure. Um, I mean, I must have walleyes and yes. big bass on it. I mean, it's just, it's such a great lure. It's unbelievable. And, you know, so I have to say, uh, you know, my personal best Wisconsin muskie, the Gadorzi muskie, many of you guys have seen that episode, 700 Booker Tail Tinsel. That was a goldie. Here's the great flame. Mm -hmm. Those two colors are obviously some of our best ones. The thing that, that I really love about this lure is that it really comes into its own after July 4th. For me, there's there's a certain cutoff where, of course, the 500 series pulls fish all year long, mm -hmm. like we just said. But there's a, like a, a time, and I, I really think it has to do with forage base and the way that these fish um, grow over the course of the season. The 700 seems to come into its own as, you know, a, a primary um, target of muskies when we're fishing it in, you know, mid to late July. This lure is just it, it comes in, into its own. I said that, and uh, it's really you can't get around it. It, it is a, just a staple as far as is uh, booker tails to throw. Yeah, and another thing I love about these baits is their durability. I've thrown a lot of different types of bucktails before, and these baits are super durable. Um, you know, in fish in, in a sport that's as tough as musky fishing, you want a blade that every time you throw it, it's going to run the right Absolutely. way. I mean, any time you, you throw it up and it gets fouled up, that's opportunities that you're missing. And that doesn't happen with these booker tails no. very often. Well, again, you're getting right there, man. This heavy keel weight is really the reason it happens. When you shoot this lure out there, a long bomb cast, you're not going to see it flailing around in the right. wind. It's the heavy keel weight here that gets the job done. Now, yeah. a couple things as we're talking tackle here on the 700 guys. Hooks. You wouldn't believe it if you in, until you see it in my boat. The size hooks that I throw on a 700 are seven aughts. 500, five aught, 700, seven aught wide gap. Monster size hooks. How can you hide them in there? It's because of the tinsel. When this tinsel flares up, you can't tell the big hooks are there. Yeah. And you were saying this, you know, you know how, why do we throw? Why do we throw buck tips? Why are why are they our number one bait? Well, I mean, I think for a number of reasons. Obviously, muskies are visual hunters. They're they're uh, they're looking for things to feed on. But it's also the the vibrations that they're creating in the water, the movement. Um, you know, they're they're just they produce time and time. Well, and here's here's why I'm going to say that. I'm going to go off that and say the the reason that I love the booker tails is because they get fish to come into the eight. Mm -hmm. And when you're on a tough bite, you know. I can't always rely on, we can't always rely on fish pounding them out right. on, a, a, on the end of a long cast. We want it. It's awesome. But if I can get a fish to come into the figure eight, I've got a chance. And there are, there are so many days yeah. that are just tough to trigger strikes. If you can get a fish to follow into the boat, and that's why these, that's why these bucktail inline spinner baits are so phenomenal, is because you can get fish to follow them. And once you come into the eight, you're in trouble. Yeah. 
you are in big trouble. Right. But yeah, I mean, you know, getting back to the 700, man, this is just a standard. Uh, it's, 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 a, it's a good medium-sized bait. A lot of our Wisconsin lakes here, this really does, you think about the perch we were catching ice fishing today, this really is a perfect replica yeah. of the size of forage that a lot of these, you know, mid yeah. to average size muskies, not that you can't catch a big muskie on the 700, right. but a lot of those muskies are targeting forage mm -hmm. that is really this size. Right. So that's a big reason why we throw the 700. Mm -hmm. Jimmy. We were throwing the 500 series Booker tails. We were raising a few fish and decided to throw a double eight tinsel Booker tail, and this fish absolutely clobbered it. Guys, bumping things up in size. Here. Yes. Mike is picking up the double 800 tinsel. Yeah, slightly bigger blades, the double eight, um, which is a great bait when you're throwing a five or you're throwing a seven and you get a fish that follows in, but it follows kind of lazy and you've got to come back on it with something else, right? You've got to come back with something a little bit bigger. The double eight is a great option. Yeah, guys, Mike is talking about that classic throwback idea. You've got a muskie that follows the five, mm -hmm. okay? Come back at that fish with either the seven or we're talking now double eight. I right. mean, this bait is sizably bigger. And this is actually, when we go back and forth between five and eight so many times. Timing wise, a lot of you folks always want to know when are you throwing these things? Double eight, we could throw it on the opener. Right. We do. But if you were to ask me, when is this lure thrown the most in my boat? I would say mid July. After July 4th, yeah. the eight is a staple. The double eight is a staple in my boat. But back to your statement about throwbacks. Oh, when you've got muskies that only follow the five or the seven yeah. or a smaller presentation, say the, the seven inch sheller, the five inch sheller, something smaller, yeah. this, this lure, it may not look like it now, but man, when this thing puffs up and mm -hmm. bulges in the, the double blades, water, I mean, you can see it a lot better. And it produces massive amounts of vibration. Right, exactly. It's bulges the surface. It almost yep. looks as if a muskie is falling yep. in right into the surface. You feel like you've got a little bit of a weight there, even when you don't sometimes. Now, let me say another thing about the eight. This, <laughs> and we're going to get to the old 10 in just a second. The eight is easy to throw. This is a piece of mm -hmm. cake in the muskie world. For bucktails, the double eight is about as easy as it gets for just ease of uh, retrieve, man. I mean, this thing's not hard to retrieve for no. a double-bladed bucktail. And some of them are obviously very difficult. Not as hard as they used to be like 10, 15 years ago when we were growing up. We didn't have the, we didn't have the, the, uh, the reels like we do now. Right. Yeah, and the gear ratio has a huge, you know, it's a huge part. Yeah, you know what? We should actually go through each one of these and talk about the gear ratios that we like. You know, I'll say for the, for the double eight, the seven and the five. I'm kind of a traditionalist in that I, I like what I call my, my mid-range reel. I like the 6.3 mm -hmm. to one uh, gear ratio for that. Uh, I find that to be just fine. I would never go slower on any of these. Actually, I take that back. On the eight, I'll do a 5.3 to one occasionally. But for the most part, I really do like my mid-range 6.3 mm -hmm. to 1 for all three of these. Would you agree with that? Or yeah, absolutely. Or? I think it's just, it's that right speed, it's that right uh, feel to the buck, uh, or hooker tail, I should say. Yeah. And again, the, the thing that, that Mike was hitting on is this is one of our go-to upsizing. We've got a fish that follows in hot on one of these smaller, the 5 or the 700. The double eight is always out there as an option to get that fish, to trigger that fish into striking. Right. You know, you got an aggressive fish that's kind of uh, hesitant to commit to a smaller blade, mm -hmm. go big or go home. Yeah. And that brings us to... Brings us to um, the last one in the lineup here. I raised this fish right at moon overhead on a double eight Booker tail tinsel. We got big storms coming in here. 
and I came back on this fish. That was my first cast with a double 10. And guys, it doesn't get any better than that when a plan comes together. The double 10 blade, which, you know, for the most part is, is what we consider the big boy of blades. Um, at least the ones that are in our lineup. Yeah. Um, and this is also a great, you know, bait to go to when you've had a fish follow up, but maybe it just kind of hesitated, didn't quite commit. Um, and you can come back on that fish during a moon phase. You know, you know it's well, there. What you're you know getting at here, guys, what, what Mike is saying is so important is that, look, let's face it. I mean, please get, let's get the cat out of the bag. The double 10, I don't care even if you've got a 5.31 or a 4.61 ratio reel. Double 10s are, I mean, unless you're like lifting weights consistently in the gym, you know, and some guys do, and that's fantastic, you know. But for the average musky angler out there, the double 10 is a beast to throw for more than 30 minutes. But that's what we're getting at. We're not throwing this lure, not even more than 10 minutes sometimes right. at a time. This is a strategic lure. Mm -hmm. This is a lure when you've got a really hot fish mm -hmm. that's following five, seven, or a lot of times the double eight, and will not commit. A lot of times this is a really aggressive fish. A lot of times this is a big fish. Mm -hmm. This is where we bring out right. the double 10. And this is selective. This is like you said, you already said it. On a moon phase, you've got a fish that follows any of these other three poofer tails. You come back on that fish, weather change, mm -hmm. moon phase, light change, you name it. A, an environmental change of some sort, sunrise, sunset. Double 10 can often be the answer. And what would you say as far as like, when are you throwing this bait season? You know, what, what time of the... I would say, boy, for me, this is a, this is a, a, a post July 4th yeah. bait for me. Usually it's mid July, all the way to ice up. You know, yes. we're throwing double 10s a lot of times in October, right. November, right. because you can slow roll them. Yeah. These blades produce so much pull and right. thrust. You could just slow roll you and can troll stay, these right? blades if you want. We to. troll them, yeah, absolutely. Double eights and double tens, fantastic trolling baits mm -hmm. over weed cover in the fall. And notice too, you got double hooks here. Now that's a good question. Now some guys go either way on this. I tend to, and and everybody's different. I tend to remove this hook here. You see this hook? Now this hook right here, guys. So standard hook on a double ten hooker tail tinsel, okay. This is a six aught wide gap hook. Now, this hook may look massive to you right now, but believe it or not, so this is the this is one of the hooks that's actually on. This is a standard hook on the Magnum nine inch shallow rater. This is generally speaking the middle hook on a double ten rubber tail tinsel. I personally, now this is you know to each their own. I tend to take this hook off and fish this with a single. And I will often, this is a seven right here. So I've got on, on the, the trailer hook on this double 10, I've got a seven off. I'll take this six wide gap and you can see how short shank that is. Look at how short that is. I put that short shank on my 500. Just, just good night glass. Just a good night hand. You, you bite a 500 with this meat hook hiding inside this and you're toasted. Look at how short the shank is. You're gone. You're not going anywhere. I'm sorry. You're going to be in my net. You're going to be home. You're going to be. You're going to be in front of the, you know, the camera, and you're going to be on Facebook. Yeah, that's how it goes. But you know, some folks, and you know, depending on how thick the cover is, if you're fishing really thick cover and you're trying to bulge the ten, you know, over cabbage, mm -hmm. you probably want to right. take the belly hook off. Same with toppers. If you're fishing top raiders over thick cover, mm -hmm. take the belly hook off. Here's another scenario. Now again, if you're losing fish, if they're if they're short hitting, yeah. well, keep it on there. If you're fishing over rock cover or right. wood or something, where you, you're not worried about snagging stuff, mm -hmm. keep the belly hook on there. Mm -hmm. But that's something that look, you know, the, the way uh, that Joe designed this with the split ring there, very easy to remove, and literally the very next spot you fish, you can put it back on there. Mm -hmm. It literally takes like all of ten seconds to yeah. do. Anything else to add with the, the double tag line? Uh, I think we've got it covered and, and kind of... Oh, well, one last thing I'd say. Oh. And, you know, I would say probably the 500, I would take this out of the equation, even though I love the 500. And we do night fish the 500 occasionally. But if there's three lures here in the Bruger tail lineup, 
that we night fish. Yeah. Seven, double eight, double ten. I would say, and actually, out of both of these, the ones that I personally, and, and you know, everybody varies a little bit. Mm -hmm. Seven straight and the double ten are my go-to night fishing lures. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I suppose I probably should throw the double eight under the bus on the night fishing thing. But I guess these three, we spend a lot of time at night cranking blades, man. Yeah. And if you're not throwing a depth freighter, somebody's got a double blade or a, a you know the straight seven in the mix. Yeah. So you cannot underestimate the Buka tail tinsels or the straight uh, you know the original uh, Buka tail bucktails in the mix for night fishing. Very very important part of the game. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. So guys, there it is. Mike and I have broke down our four top JVO inline spinners on the Booker Tail lineup. Here you see the uh, the newer the tinsel models, but uh, you know the, these are lures. Like like Mike said, if there's one lure that probably we would throw for the rest of our angling career, if we had nothing else to throw, it would be bucktail. Yeah, yeah. Put these four Booker Tails into your lineup, and you will catch more muskies. There is no doubt about it, guys. Thanks for watching. Chaz Martin, Muskie Mastery Outdoors is brought to you by Joe Booker Outdoors, number one in big game fish products. And by St. Croix Rods, best rods on earth. Fish more, worry less.